myself dr b nandini assistant professor of commerce self in this video i am going to give a brief note on clubbing of income and the provisions relating to clubbing of income under the course income tax law and practice 2 let us see what is clubbing of income clubbing of income means the income of one person is included in the income of the another person for example income of husband is to be included in the income of the wife it is taxable in the hands of the husband's income under the income tax act a person has to pay tax on his income a person cannot transfer his income or an asset which is his one source of his income to some other person or in other words we can say that a person cannot divert his income to any other person and says that it is not his income if he do so the income shown to be earned by any other person in included in the assessee's income and the assessee has to pay tax on it the inclusion of others income in the income of assessee's income is called as clubbing of income and it is also called as deemed income for example mr a purchased a house property in the name of his wife b a let out this house property the rental income earned by a in the name of his wife which is taxable in the hands of a the provisions of the clubbing of income contained in section 62 64 of the income tax act were dealt with the following are the cases where the clubbing of income takes place number 1 transfer of income without transfer of asset that means a person has transfer any asset to any other person without transferring the ownership of the asset but he transfer the right to receive the income alone in such cases the income is taxable only in the hands of the transferor for example x owns 4000 14% debentures of a limited of rupees 100 each he transfers interest income to his friend y sir y without transferring the ownership of debentures in this case although the interest will be received by y but it is taxable in the hands of mr x next one revocable transfer of asset if a person transfers the asset and also receiving the income from that asset by the condition that revocable transfer in such case also the income is taxable in the hands of the transferor here the revocable transfer means the transfer which contains directly or indirectly cancelable or transferable at any time in such cases that means revocable transfer of assets in such cases also the income is taxable only in the hands of the transferor for example for x transfers a house property to a however x has the right to revoke the transfer during the lifetime of mr a it is a revocable transfer and the income arising from the house property is taxable in the hands of mr x then third case is income of spouse the income of spouse such as remuneration fees commission bonus received by her or him as a result of the spouse is a member or the member is uh, the spouse is having substantial interest in the company 
In such cases also, the income of the spouse is included in the income of the spouse. The substantial interest means an individual is deemed to have substantial interest in the beneficiary company that means not less than 20% of the voting power that means the spouse is having not less than 20% of the voting power in which the spouse is employed and uh, in such cases the uh, in such cases an employee is deemed to be the income of the spouse for example x has substantial interest in a limited and mrs x is employed by a limited without any technical or professional qualification in this case the salary income of mrs x shall be taxable in the hands of x that is idhukku enna artham or spouse vandu wife a irukalam illa husband a irukalam avanga vandu enna seidirpaanga na avangaloda husband vandu and the company la 20% of the voting power vechirukradunal avangaloda wife vandu velaiku vechirpaanga then as a result of this அவங்க ஒய்ஃப் வந்து சேலரியோ கமிஷனோ ஃபீஸோ எதுவும் வாங்கியிருக்காங்க அப்படின்னு சொன்னால் இட் இஸ் நாட் அஸ் அ ரிசல்ட் ஆஃப் ஹர் ப்ரொஃபஷனல் குவாலிஃபிகேஷன் ஆர் த டெக்னிக்கல் குவாலிஃபிகேஷன் அவங்களுடைய இன்டெலக்சுவல் ஸ்கில்னாலேயோ இல்லை குவாலிஃபிகேஷனாலேயோ வந்த இன்கம் கிடையாது இது வந்து அவங்களோட ஹஸ்பண்ட் அந்த கம்பெனியில் ஓட்டிங் பவர் வச்சுருக்கிறதுனால அவங்களுக்கு அந்த சேலரி அவங்கள எம்ப்ளாய் பண்ணியிருப்பாங்க அதனால அவங்களுக்கு அந்த சேலரி கிடைக்குது அப்படின்னு சொன்னால் then it is taxable in the hands of the husband then fourth one is transfer of assets to other persons or association of persons for the benefit of the spouse in that case the individual person or the associate transfers the assets to other persons or association of persons for the benefit of the spouse spouse oda benefit kaga அவங்க பேரில் இருக்கிற அசட்டை இண்டிவிஜுவல் பர்சனுக்கோ இல்லை அசோசியேஷன் ஆஃப் பர்சன்ஸ்க்கோ மாற்றி விட்டுருவாங்க ஸோ இன் சச் கேசஸ் த இன்கம் அரைசிங் ஃப்ரம் சச் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் ஆஃப் அசட் இஸ் டாக்ஸபிள் இன் த ஹேண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் ஆர் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் மிஸ்டர் ஏ ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர்ஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் டிபென்ச்சர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஐஎஃப்சிஐ டு ஹர் ஹஸ்பண்ட் வித்வுட் அடுக்குவேட் கன்சர்வேஷன் விதவுட் அடுக்குவேட் கன்சர்வேஷன் சொன்னால் பதிலுக்கு எதுவுமே ரூபாயோ இல்லை வேற இன் கைண்டாவோ வாங்காமல் வாங் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க அப்படின்னு சொன்னால் அதுக்கு பேர் தான் விதவுட் அடுக்குவேட் கன்சர்வேஷன் த இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இன்கம் ஆன் தீஸ் டிவென்ச்சர்ஸ் வில் பி இன்க்ளூடட் இன் த இன்கம் ஆஃப் மிஸ்ஸஸ் ஏ நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இன்கம் ஆஃப் டாட்டர் இன் லா தட் இஸ் சன்ஸ் ஒய்ஃப் இஃப் அண்ட் இண்டிவிஜுவல் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் எனி இன்கம் அண்ட் the income arising from one of the property to some other person for the benefit of his son's wife means it is taxable in hands of the assessee for example mrs a transfers 100 debentures to ifci to her son's wife without adequate consideration interest income on these debentures included in the income of mrs a next one income from asset transferred to a person for the benefit of the spouse or son's wife in that case an individual person or an assessee transfer his assets to a person or association of persons for the benefit of the spouse or his son's wife then the income arising from such asset will be taxable in the hands of an individual or an assessee for example mr x transfers government bonds without consideration to an association of persons subject to the condition that the interest income from these bonds will be utilized for the benefit of mrs x or mrs x son's wife the interest income 
from such bonds will be included in the income of Mr. X. Then next case is, is income from business. If an individual or an SSE transfers any asset which is used by his business to the spouse or his son's wife and the same asset is used by his spouse or his daughter-in-law for their business. In such cases, the profit arising from such using of that asset will be taxable in the hands of the individual or the transferor. For example, Mr. A transfers rupees 10 lakh to Mrs. A and she started a business with this amount. She incurred a loss of rupees 3 lakhs in that business during the previous year 2022 and 23. The loss of rupees 3 lakhs shall be deducted from the income of Mr. A. Next, income of a minor child. The income which arises to the minor shall be included in the income of the parent whose income is greater. The, there are two exceptions to the income of the minor child. That is the income of the minor child suffering from specified disability and number two income of minor child on account of manual work or involving application of his skill or talent etc. If the income of the minor child is included in the income of his parent there will be two conditions that is the, the parents marriage will subsist. Will subsist means parents rendu peru kalyanahi rendu peru husband and wife are chained valanu. Apdi irindanga apdi inchunna the parent whose income is greater the income of the minor child is included. If the marriage of the parent does not subsist then in such cases, the income of the minor child is included in the income of the parent who maintain such minor child. And however, the parent, those who are included, the minor child's income are having the exempted up to rupees 1500 for the inclusion of the income of the minor child. Then next one, the transfer of separate individual property or self-acquired property of the Hin to the Hindu undivided family of which he is a member of the HEF. In that cases, an individual person or the member of the HEF may transfer his self-acquired property to the Hindu undivided family. In such cases, the income arising from such transfer of asset is included in the income of an individual or the member of the HUF. Then next one, benoming transaction. That is, in order to avoid the tax, the person, those who are having greater income may transfer the interest on such asset to somebody else on the date of transfer on the date of receiving the income and after the income is income received period is over they may transfer the asset and the income is again to that person idukena or person interest income uh, debentures vechirpaanga or company la company le debentures vechirpaanga and the company would debenture interest vaangra the usually the interest is payable once in six months. Apo July and December la company debenture interest pay panna poodhu abdi na and the pay panna interest receive panna poora period la matto the person is transferring the debentures to the some other person. It means that the person those who are having more income may transfer the income to somebody else on the date of receiving that income in order to avoid the tax. For example, Mr. A is having debentures 
in a company limited the usually the debenture interest is payable by the company once in 6 months that is july and december of every year so on the date of receiving interest they may transfer the ownership and the receiving of interest to somebody else to in order to avoid the tax it is called as binomi transaction so in such cases also the income is taxable only in the hands of the transferor so these are all the cases where the clubbing of income is applicable thank you